The home team that we will be seeing play in today's matchday vlog are one of just two clubs within the entirety of the English Football League system to not have the name of their town or city in the name of their football club. Yes, we are going to see Port Vale versus Bristol Rovers, two teams who are right towards the top of English Football League One. It is going to be a massive game. There's supposed to be a huge crowd coming and uh, there's huge ramifications for both clubs this season. Who is the other team that doesn't have their place name in their actual name of their team? Of course, one is Port Vale, who we'll be going to see today. Who is the other one? Let me know in the comments section below. If you don't know, I'll tell you a little bit later on. I'm in my car just now. I'm driving to my mate's house who's driving me to the game. It's going to be nice to be driven to the game for once. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video please hit that like button please subscribe if you're new before we go i just want to say a massive massive thank you we hit 100k overnight i was asleep so i didn't see it tick over it must have been at like four or five in the morning so a massive thanks to everybody who has subscribed um you are genuinely making my dreams come true i couldn't do this incredible job without your support um but yeah a massive massive thank you on to the next 100k let's head on down to port vale versus bristol rovers <laughs> Look at this, as you can see, made it to Port Vale, my first ever time here. But look, one of the things, I know I told you about Port Vale, um, one of the most exciting things about them is the fact that they're one of two clubs in the EFL without their actual place name in their name. The second best thing, actually the first best thing about them, forget the name thing, is the fact that Robbie Williams is their famous fan. I love seeing famous fans of clubs and none more so than Robbie. What an absolute legend. Look, Port Vale fan for those of you who didn't know. Look how busy it is here. Who realised that Port Vale v Bristol City would be this busy? It's going to take ages getting half an hour to kick off and look at it already. It's going to take forever to get in the seat. But it's a huge game today between two teams who are both vying to get up there. So that's probably why Easter Monday as well, good weather. Are you a Port, are you Port Vale fans? Yeah, is it usually this busy here? <laughs> no, is it not? <laughs> how many people do you think could be here for today then? Probably over 10. Up 10? Yeah. yeah. Like more, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Season's been going well though for you, isn't it? So. <laughs> right, they're gonna have to delay kickoff. Look at that. People still in to get in. And down there, absolutely raging. Look at this. There's like 10 minutes till kickoff. What is going on? Wow, look at Paul Bell. We are finally. We've just made it. Further players coming out, as you can see. But I need some scrams so badly. But shambles of the season for ticketing goes to. Right, there was no pies left, so I've had to go for a sausage roll. 15 minutes into the game, I've only just got my sausage roll. I'm ready to watch the action. Port Vale are one now up, and it's absolutely rammed in it. I was not expecting this. Fair play to the supporters of Port Vale. Four Bristol Rovers have scored. It's one of what a classic right here. Despite not getting in too late, impressed by Port Vale and Bristol over so far? Pretty great game. It's got everything for a... It really has. Yeah. Right, I think we're about to have half time, so because of how late we got into the stadium, I didn't get to do my pre-match montage, so unless anything else happens, I'll see you after half time, where I will show you the montage from this really nice League 2 stadium. Oh, 
I hope you enjoyed the half-time montage. Don't often do them, of course. But look, as you can see, the teams are back out. Second half's about to begin. Hopefully we see some action at this end second half where Port Vale are kicking towards their own fans. Um, right, so the other team without the place name in their name, if you haven't guessed it already, is Forest Green. So it's Forest Green and Port Vale. Wow, look at that. The Kelty Hearts badge and the Port Vale. Why the connection with Kelty then? I found Kelty to the Wimble League, so we always talk about Really? Like How come? Why, what, what got you into supporting Kelty? I just picked a team. Oh, nice. Yeah, what a club they are. Have you been to see them recently when they've been up? Never been to see them, yeah. Oh, mate, you have to go. What a yeah. club. Oh, it's incredible to see you here and you've been to Kelty. Oh, that you support yeah, Kelty as well. What do you think the score will be today then? What do you think the score will be? I'm predicting 4 2 for those four. 4 2. That still could happen. It's been a high scoring game. So far. What's your name? Ian. Ian, mate, lovely to meet you. Oh, Thanks so Thank much. You. Cheers, mate. All the best. Oh, go outside him. huge amount to um, tell you about in the second half so far. It's still 2-1 to Bristol Rovers, but the Kelty fan slash Port Vale fan who's just behind me who I've chatted to a few times during the game, he was telling me that um, they've not had a crowd like this here since they were in the second tier and they're obviously now League 2, looking to get promoted, but maybe it's because it's Easter Monday, people are out, it's kind of sunny, but there's like 10,000 here today at least. And he told me that it hasn't been this full for a very, very long time. So do, does Robbie ever come to games here? Robbie Williams? Uh, no, I don't know. Do you know. I suppose he's in America a lot, right? Yeah, so he used to go to Chelsea a lot. Ah, oh, okay. So where he lived Which in London, I guess. Down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, and so you were saying... He's played here, you know, the charity game. Oh, is he? You want a charity game? Charity game. Oh, Oh, oh right, I thought you meant a charity. There's a concert here. What yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, July. July. Oh, I'll have to come. June, June, July. Nice, yeah. You, There'll be more people here for that than for this. Oh, God, yeah. yeah only just. <laughs> <laughs> Bristol Rovers to seal it. Oh. They've sealed it. 3 1 Bristol Rovers. Look at them. They're all off and they'll be back for the Robbie Williams concert in a couple of months' time. Right guys, yes, hello, it's currently the next day and um, I'm sorry to uh, the Port Vale fans, I know I didn't really get much of a chance to um, to look around the stadium yesterday, but I do actually think your support was incredible. Um, there was loads of fans there and maybe on reflection, the whole ticketing situation was probably down to the fact that there were so many more fans there than usual. Um, yeah, Port Vale fans, do let me know in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, interesting thing about Port Vale, they don't have a place name in their name. It's in a place called Burslem. Um, I really want to do a proper deep dive into Port Vale. They're a really, really old football club, um, as a Stoke actually as well. And a lot of clubs in that sort of northern Midland sort of region. Um, I know it's a little bit further east, but Nottingham obviously have old, old clubs, as do Sheffield. So yeah, that region of, um, of England is really sort of historic football-wise. Um, but congratulations to Bristol Rovers. They did really, really well and probably deserved the, um, the win in the end. I thought the quality of football on show was absolutely tremendous, even given that it was a, a League Two game. So, um, yeah, I thought the pitch was great. I thought the quality was great. The atmosphere was actually really good as well. So, yeah, if you could remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you knew that, would be amazing. I do usually... Uh, I am usually able to look around a lot more. Um, I wasn't able to interview too many fans pre-game because of how crazy it was and the ticketing issues and stuff, but still love my time at Fort, at Port Vale, and it's another ground to tick off. A huge thank you for watching. I'll leave some videos on screen. Do remember to hit that like button. Do remember to subscribe if you're new. We're getting towards 200K now. So the first 100K done, we're on to the second 100K. So if you could be a part of the channel in hitting subscribe, that'd be amazing. A huge thank you to the channel members as well. Like I say, videos on screen right now. Please do click one to carry on watching. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.